Hey guys, another repair video from Fast Tech. Uh, today we're going to be working on a PS4 CUH1001A. Um, and the problem is that it's overheating. And it's overheating due to dust buildup in the system. Uh, I made a video earlier showing you guys how to do this repair on a CUH1215A. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that on a CUH1001A or a 1115A as well because they're both very similar. So what happens is um, the system runs really loud. You can hear the fan uh, even in this video here. I'm sure you can hear it. Uh, it. It gets really loud. It sounds like it's about to take off. It's like super, super loud. Yeah, it's not supposed to run that loud unless uh, there's some obstruction in the cooling system. I think Fortnite here. Uh, within 30 40 minutes the system shuts off it gives a message saying the ps4 is too hot and then the system will just shut off um, And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that today. We're basically going to be taking the system apart to give it a good cleaning uh, We can also replace the thermal paste um, And also we could also replace the fan if the fan is seized uh, But I don't think the fan is seized because I can hear it spinning uh, but in certain cases you might also have to replace the fan So I'm going to be adding the links in the description to the fan the thermal paste and other parts that you're going to need for this repair So let's start Okay, so we have a ps4 1115a here um, And we're going to be taking it apart to clean out the heat sink uh, And possibly replace the thermal paste if it's uh, dry uh, And we might also have to replace the fan if it's bad uh, but I'm hoping that's not the case. So let's start. So we're going to flip the console over at the back. And normally there would be stickers here. Uh, but this customer here had uh, taken his console apart already. So those stickers are not there. So we're going to be removing these Torx screws. We sell this Torx screwdriver on our website as well. I'm going to be adding the link in the description. Once we removed all the screws, we're going to remove the bottom case by lifting it from the back. Now, according to the client, there was a lot of dust in the fan here, which he's cleaned out already. And in most of these cases, um, this fan is going to be really dusty in here as well. You're going to want to clean it out. But we're taking everything apart. We're going to be cleaning everything out. So regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to take the power supply out. I'm going to remove these screws. There's five of them. Two of them are Phillips. Three of them are Torx. Gonna remove the connector and then you just lift the power supply from the right side and just come out and put that on the side now we're going to remove these cables here the antenna cable the power cable for this drive and the data cable for the disk drive needs to be removed to remove the data cable we're gonna press this metal piece here on the retention clip and then we're just gonna pull the cable out like so and we're going to lift, remove the antenna cable, remove the power cable. And now what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna flip the console over and remove screws from the other side. We don't need to actually take the disc drive out. We just need to remove the cables. And flip it over, remove the hard drive panel, easy. Just like so. Remove these two screws. Once these two screws are removed, this, this part of the case is going to be removed 
from front, you lift it from the front, you're gonna hear the clips disengage. And then the back should just come off like so. Okay, we're going to lift the fan connector upwards and gently because it's very easy to break. And we're gonna remove all these screws here, including these Phillips screws that hold the heat sink brace. Take the hard drive out. Now we're gonna remove the rest of these screws, which are all Torx screws. These screws are Torx T8, just in case you're wondering. Screwdriver is gonna be available on our website soon. Okay, once we've removed all these screws, there's actually one, there's one black screw here also. I'm gonna remove this. And once we've removed, once we've removed all these screws, once all the screws are out, this panel is going to be removed just by lifting it like that and now we're down to the motherboard we can remove the motherboard by grabbing it from the hard drive connectors and then just lifting it from the usb side up and just like that it should come out that's our motherboard now normally we would replace this thermal paste as well but the thermal paste looks like it's in good health, so we're not gonna replace that. But typically, you'd wanna replace this thermal paste as well, because normally this would be dried up by now. But this looks in good shape, so we're gonna leave that. Um, and yeah, let's continue with our repair. So what we're trying to get at is we're trying to remove this. Um, and there's a heat sink in there, which I imagine is going to be full of dust. So to get to the heat sink and the fan, we're gonna remove these screws here there's one here one here and one here so one two three screws are, once those screws are removed this heatsink plate's gonna come off. You, you wanna make sure that the antenna cable is out of the way. So we've, we're gonna slide that out of the way. And now this heatsink is just gonna come out like this. And now that I flip it over, you're gonna see, whoa, look at that. You see all that dust here? That dust is completely, well not completely, but it's blocking up 60% of the heatsink and it's probably blocking 60% of the airflow. And what happens is if you're, you're not, there's more here also. So if, if, if the system isn't able to expel hot air, um, what happens is this area becomes really hot and it heats up the processor and then that's when the system overheats. So we're gonna remove all this dust here that's caked up uh, and we're gonna clean out the fan as well. I don't think the fan has to be replaced here because it's spinning good, but normally uh, in some cases you also have to replace this fan. And we're, we're, we sell this fan on our website in case yours is broken. I'm gonna be putting the links in the description. But on this job, it looks like we only have to clean it out. So it looks like uh, there's this dust buildup here. I'm going to uh, get an air can uh, and go, I'm gonna clean this out. Yeah, it's just really bad. Okay, now that I've blown all the dust out, now we can start reassembling it. And uh, as you can see, the heat sink is no longer caked with dust and it's actually 
not going to overheat our system anymore because all that dust that was here blocking airflow is now gone. So we're going to put this back in and start reassembling the console. You want to make you want to make sure that these holes line up. And then now we're going to start putting the screws back in that hold it in place. Put the hard drive back in, put the screw in that holds the hard drive in place. Flip it over. We're going to connect all the cables back. Reroute the antenna cable just like it was. And then we're going to push the data cable back in. We're going to Press the retention clip and then push the cable in. And install that screw, the black screw here. The black screw here is only on CUH1115A models and 1001A. This black screw here does not exist. Just a little FYI in case you're wondering why you don't have that screw. I'm going to put the power supply back in. I want to make sure these pins line up. And we're going to put all the remaining screws back in.
final piece goes back in. And then we're going to put the rest of the screws in. Now I'm going to give it a good wipe on the outside and uh, test it out for you guys. Alright, so now it's running Fortnite and um, previously before I, uh, before I did the work on it, it was running really really loud and you could really hear the system and now look at it. It's virtually silent, you can't hear anything. Uh, and it's running completely quiet. It's loading Fortnite at the moment. And before it was going completely berserk. It sounded like it was a jet airliner about to take off. And uh, now as you can tell, it's running nice and quiet. And I can actually hear myself talk this time around, which is good. And I think the customer is going to be happy. Uh, and I think we have another successful repair here at Fast Tech. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and comment. And also click the bell next to the subscribe button because apparently just subscribing now is no longer enough. You actually also have to click the bell if you want to be notified about uh, our upcoming videos. So yeah, guys, stay, stay tuned for more tech-related videos at uh, Fast Tech. And uh, do check, check out our website at www.fasttech.ca.